back to the channel. Today I'll be continuing what if Naruto had God of Destruction key or was the God of Destruction either way. You know, it's kind of the same thing because, you know, he would still be deemed a God of Destruction. Anyway, if you like the video, leave a like on it. If you don't, let me know what you don't like about it. Maybe I could change a few things. Maybe I'll redo it one day. Anyway, let's get into it. Back to the like Naruto Lee and Sakura ends up meeting up with uh Kakashi, uh Guy, Tsunade, Jiraiya, you know, everybody that would normally go meet up with them, like go just, you know, interrogation, stuff like that. And like Kakashi, he saw it, he was like, I guess we didn't make it to him this time. And like Lee like not Lee, but yeah, Lee's told him like, oh yeah, well somebody else is supposed to be coming to attack our village. And like Tsunade surprised, she like Naruto, you gathered this information? Or Lee, y'all like y'all gathered this information? And Sakura was like, no, nah, Naruto um, told us that an Amba member told him, you know? So we kind of just told John. And like Kakashi, he started like, he, he like starts not taunting Naruto, but he, he throw a joke out there. Like you finally, you finally giving out information and stuff. Like you're not just killing people and not trying to pay attention to other people. And like Naruto, like he's not trying to hear it. He's trying to get back to the Leaf Village. And so now they ask him like, what, why, why he in a rush? And Naruto turned around, he like, people are gonna attack the village. They said they were stronger and they basically almost destroyed the sand village now i know we're stronger or mildly stronger but they said that people that were coming to our village were stronger so let's just go and prepare or y'all should go and prepare i'm more or less just gonna go sit in my house until they get here and like no it's like he keep walking and after a while he stopped walking because they still like trying to get him to stop to talk about what was going on and who he fought and what happened you know basically like a little debrief and naruto tells him like you know he can get all that information from somebody like sakura or lee that's why he brings them along because they have a tendency to just go home and tell everything so you know he, and like after he says that he kind of starts flying and then he like dip like he just once he realized they're close enough to the leaf village to where like can't nobody really worry about all oh, you know naruto just ran off in any random direction he just dips like he goes straight to his house and when they like when everybody gets into the leaf village they obviously already know where he at but you know they're going to check anyway because Naruto, people just said they're gonna attack the Leaf Village. So they go and tell the council in the Leaf Village. And the council tells them that like, you know, they should probably like try to train up, like get some people, some squads ready, start evacuating people, start building camps outside the city. And like, yeah, just you know, just normal like planning for the, the end of days, their version, you know, basically. So uh that's as those few months pass, that's that's what's going on. Uh Jiraiya ended up going on a recon mission, which didn't result in him losing his life, but he is injured enough to where he can't necessarily be a fully functioning shinobi. As in, he went too close to the Akatsuki. Someone like, um, I'm gonna say Itachi saw him. He was like doing recon on an Akatsuki base with two other people. Yeah, he don't go by himself. Um, Akatsuki, uh, the Itachi has saw one of the other people. I mean, just, like just random people. It's like some people in his own organization. You know, Itachi has saw one of the people yeah, hit him with a genjutsu and tried to, like, you know, the other one tried to kill him, but Jiraiya jumped down into the way and it cost him his leg. So now, nah, now nah, he, he not necessarily, he Jiraiya, but he ain't, he really like, a, he could be an instructor now. So now nah, he just basically thought those, you know, that still made Naruto mad. Don't get me wrong. When, when Jiraiya came limping back from his little recon mission with the other dude in tow, Naruto damn near destroyed the dude that got caught because he felt like it's all his fault. So now with every time there's like a little meeting or whatever, Naruto has to like if, if it involves Naruto in any manner of the word, he can't like that one guy can't be in the room because Naruto genuinely does not like him because he felt like he ruined Jiraiya's career, which he technically did in the grand scheme of things. Right now, they are going to end up doing that that thing that they do with Sasuke and Naruto's arms or they were going to do the Sasuke arm, but Naruto's arm to him. But they don't have all that, you know, yet anyway. So yeah, Jiraiya, after coming back, he becomes like some instructor. He's like training the newer, the younger generations. And Naruto's pissed. He, he basically walks around and then eventually the um the Akatsuki show up. And like when they show up, everybody, like they notice like the, the village is kind of desolate. Like there are people in it, but there's not people in it. Like the most he could see, like the most they could see are like Shinobi. So, you know, Pain, not really caring. He could still kind of feel the nine tails somewhere in here or, you know, they, they got intel that he's in here. So they just gonna get rid of it all. So man, like pain just lifts up and he pushes everything. Now he gets to push off, but when he saw like when the pains and stuff started looking around, they noticed that a lot of the shinobi that would have normally died from that didn't. And what I mean by that was they were able to use like shit to block the debris, like you know wood wood dome, you know some random shit like that. Naruto 
he kind of like he got buried in the rubble and as like painting them like looking for him obviously just him and majority of you know they, they kind of look over in the distance and see like this little big purple flash and then they see like this dude like in like from like with the flash like when the flash disappears they see like this like kid just stand, like this dude just standing in it so they all you know naturally they go over to it because that's clearly somebody that got some type of power they need to either a recruit them or b get them out the way period right so they head over to naruto and when they get there pain realizes who it is and he's like you know it's sad what you know it's sad what happened to Jiraiya. you know that pain must really weigh on your chest and naruto was like no nah, it doesn't really weigh on my chest i mean you didn't kill him so i mean you're not kill him you didn't hurt him so it's not the point I mean, there's no, there's no like problem in this. The only problem I have with you, that you came to my village and tried to kill children over a pretty grudge that you hold against Shinobi. That's my grudge against you. And like Pain, basically, he starts trying to go into this monologue about how Naruto will never understand. And Naruto, he's obviously not trying to hear none of that. So he runs up to the, like he basically just appears in front of the diva path and punches him, boom, clean into the gut, sending him flying. Now the other paths, they like they get into action. They start like doing their stuff. But obviously, none of them are really going to be able to do really too much of anything to Naruto, but be an annoyance. So, what happens is, a couple of them get destroyed right off rip because Naruto was close enough to them. More like the one that could absorb, ener one, the one that could absorb energy and the one that can summon things were like two of the ones that immediately got destroyed after the Diva Path was punched back. So, all the other ones are like kind of spreading out and they like, okay, clearly this power hold, like, you know, we can make things disappear. Pain tells them, like, where'd they go? And Naruto was like, I don't know. I don't know what happens to shit once I touch it or once this once this hits it, you know? I know you can't get it back. Or at least I can't get it back. You can't get it back. Some, someone might be able to, but I for sure as hell can't. And like Naruto was like, I'm not I'm not necessarily with this talking. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. And he like he disappears again. And pain, like he's starting to get mad. Like the diva path's starting to get mad. And like as Naruto is like doing it, he start, like he goes to erase the one with the missiles, and pain like pushes him into like wall. And like he start walking up to him and he throwing chakra rods. Boom. Boom. Like so now like Naruto is up against the wall with chakra rods in his hands. And he's like, you know, you can't use no type of like chakra or nothing because you know those chakra rods basically stop you from doing any of that. Right? You know, and um eventually, you know, somebody that like really, really cares about him sees this and they go down there, right? Now, this time I'ma say it was Tsunade only because she know what the Leaf Village is planning and she kind of feels a little guilty. Or she know what they have, like she know what they're doing, so she kind of feels a little guilty. So, you know, she jump in and, you know, she trying to fight pain, pain, push her away. She activated her hundred healings and some more shit. And Naruto basically just like he, he watching it. Like he not, like he trying to get out, but he not like actively trying to frantically get out. Cause Tsunade is a son. She, she could handle herself. Right. Until like Naruto started noticing. Okay. So this clearly is not going to great. Cause like she got pushed away and basically pain did the exact same thing. Pushed her into some shit, threw chakra rods at her. She pulled him out, but that shit can only happen so many times before you run out of stamina. So, um, yeah, Naruto, after, like, Tsunade finally ends up going down. She's not dead. She's just exhausted. And, like, right before Tsunade basically passes out, Naruto, like, he, you know, he starts clapping. And pain, eyes widen. He's like, how the fuck did you get out? And Naruto was like, you know, I have to applaud you, Tsunade. You, you, you put up a fight to save someone you barely even know. Or someone you're scared of majority of the time. I, I honor that. I can honor that. And, and for that, and, and since, since you decided you wanted to try to save my life, I'm going to fight him with everything I can get, like everything I've got, you know, something to just, you know, a reward, you know, something to show him and you before you pass out. And Tsunade, like, she's like, what? You weren't? And Naruto, like, he, boom, he explodes and his, like, his body is covered in, like, head to toe in, like, the God of Destruction aura. And he got those little weird diamonds and shit on his chest. Now, at this point in time, he's not accessing the Nine Tail shit, so he don't get the cloak that you, that you would see in the um, thumbnail. He gonna get that later. But yeah, um... He be like he he's he's cloaked out with the damn diamonds and shit on his like on his body and pain is like you know what's this you know this this ain't gonna save you when he put like he tries to push naruto away and naruto don't move he throwing chakra rods at naruto the chakra rods are breaking up the minute they touch the aura that he's in and naruto in like this real like scruffy voice he tells him like this is it and the, like the diva path he like the actual pain is thinking about it like it's gonna take him forever to actually get some more like paths of pain or whatever and he don't want to lose this one because this is not like this is his friend so he not trying to lose it so it's like the diva path start running like he, he trying to dip naruto he sees this and he like he, he disappears now at this point sonate is passed out and just about anybody that has survived the initial wave 
of um, attempting to fend off the pains because there were people fighting the other pains. Naruto was just literally moving throughout the battlefield, breaking them up as he went along. And then the ones that were fighting him, he obviously, you know, just finished dispatching them and is now chasing the diva path, right? So like the diva path, he gets like a certain spot and he think, oh, he think everything cool. Cause you know, they can't sense divine energy. Like they can't sense God's instruction key. So like, as he like, as he goes, like jump to another tree, Naruto just appears, grabs his ass, uh, gotcha. Right? And now, like the Diva Fab, he, he, he punching him, kicking him, everything he can. He is not phasing Naruto. Nothing that he does is phasing him. And Naruto tells him, like, I am something like, you know, this is it. You're gonna die here. And if this isn't you, you're gonna I'm gonna find you and kill you. And Naruto, like, as he's saying this, the pain is thinking, like, how does he know that this might not, this may or may not be me? And Naruto was like, cause I'm so, like, and like he's basically going on this slight rant because he's out of other people's like field of vision. Like he's tired of these Orochimaru level of people like always finding a way to slither out of fucking punishment. <laughs> You're gonna fuck around and find out. And then he erases the diva path, and then he's like, he starts walking back to the Leaf Village. And oh um, yeah, that's about it. That's how the pain assault went. It's just Nagato isn't dead. Konan's still up. Itachi is still up. Everybody in the Akatsuki besides the diva paths are still up after the uh, Sand Village attack. This. And the Leaf Village one. This is why I'm in this part off though. If y'all enjoyed the video, drop a like if you enjoy my content. Please subscribe. Anyway, this is Ben Shinobi. Peace.